Reverse automatic emergency braking is a collision intervention system. It detects potential collisions while in reverse gear and automatically brakes to avoid or lessen the severity of impact. Some systems also detect pedestrians or other objects. So Kurt, on this board, can you tell us what's, what parts make up the um, system and how they uh, work to keep the um, passenger safe? Yeah, so on this car, when we're reversing, um, the, the automatic emergency braking in reverse is, is really relying on the rear blind spot modules. And on this vehicle, they'd be located right around here um, behind this rear bumper attached to the quarter panel. And you can see that, you know, this module, has it's mounted on a bracket and it's got some curvature to it. So it's, it's different than what we would see on a, a front radar module. Um, and we have one on either side there um, that is used for blind spot monitoring. But in this case, it's going to be used also in addition for that rear um, um, automatic emergency braking. There's all kinds of repair scenarios going through my mind right now, right, yep. where that may end up damaged or may end up needing to be calibrated, right? So, I mean, you have the quarter panel um, that might be damaged or even the flare that needs to have the bumper loosened, right. removed, right, to access the repairs. Um, and any time you do that for the OEM uh, recommendations, procedures, right? Um, it needs to be calibrated, correct? Yeah, so again, like you mentioned, like we'll refer to the OEM service information for when it would need to be calibrated, but in general, you know, any damage to the rear of the vehicle or, or anything where we would need to pull the, the bumper off, we're gonna inspect the, the rear blind spot radar module back there and, and, and make sure that it looks okay and uh, make sure that none of, the, none of the, you know, the bracket or the structure has been damaged. And, um, you know, generally, you know, again, referring to the OEM service information, we're going to make sure if we're removing that bumper, is there a calibration that needs to be done, whether, you know, it be for some minor cosmetic repair or a major repair. So let's talk about the calibration. Is this going to be a static or dynamic and what things would play into that being successful? Yeah. Um, on this particular vehicle, it's going to be a dynamic calibration. So the vehicle is going to have to be driven. Uh, and, and put through that dynamic calibration process. And really, you know, the major thing that we're looking for with this calibration is that there's objects for the, the radar modules to detect while you're driving. So if you're out in the middle of a big open field, it's not really gonna do what it needs to do. Uh, I would make sure too that the driving conditions are safe. We don't wanna go out in a storm or anything like that. We wanna have a safe, you know, uh, driving conditions while we're going through and, and, and performing the calibration. Great, great information, thank you. You're welcome. If you found today's tip helpful, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and share the video. Comment below for any future suggestions. These videos are made possible by SCRS. If you aren't currently a member, I encourage you to join. Visit scrs.com or use the link in the description below.